Now that you've enabled dragging, the last part of the process is to handle the case where the mouse button goes up. As when you drag the television into the shopping cart and then release the mouse button, you see the connect with the server and you just bought a nice television is, is the result. So let's take a look, start taking a look at how things work when the mouse button goes up. That happens in the handle up function and to start we get a new mouse event. To start we get a new mouse event object of the kind that we've already created in order to standardize the, how we work with mouse events across browsers. Then you remove the listener. Now remember in mouse down in the handle down function which handled the mouse down event you added a listener to the mouse move and mouse up events. Now it's time to remove the listener from the mouse move and the mouse up events and that works like this. Remove listener and it just has separate code for working with the Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator brands including Firefox and if the document dot remove event listener method exists then you can use remove event listener otherwise you have to use detach event like that so once again more shenanigans caused by the various browsers out there the various types of browsers out there available and so first you remove the listeners and then you have to check where the television was dropped if the television was dropped outside the shopping cart, then you the person's obviously not bought a nice television. Or if it's dropped inside the shopping cart, they have. So you've got to check where the mouse positioned the television. So you first can get the target element that in which on which the television was dropped, and then we've got to check and see whether or not that was inside the shopping cart or not. And you say target equals document dot element by ID target. That is the that corresponds to the shopping cart because that's the shopping cart is actually a div element with the ID target like this. So we're getting we're starting off by getting an object corresponding to the target element, and then you get the x and the y locations of the target by saying parse int target dot style dot left. Parse int function of course turns text into an integer so this is the target element dot style dot left that is the x coordinate of the left hand side upper left point of the shopping cart and you say target dot style dot top that is the y coordinate of the upper left point of the shopping cart and you can find its width and its height as well so now you know its width and its height and you also know because you have a mouse event, you also know where the mouse button went up, and so you can say that's e dot x, and is e dot x is where the mouse pointer was when the mouse button went up. Is if it's greater than x and less than, and e dot x is less than x plus width, and so forth. So this tests this if statement tests whether or not the television was dropped inside the shopping cart or not. Okay, so it's just you have to go through the details just to make sure that everything worked out okay and that just checks whether or not the television was dropped inside the, inside the shopping cart or not and if it was, the next step is to communicate that fact to the server and that's coming up in the next movie.